Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Angle up a little, the right a little. Perfect, bang on, I love it. Okay, so... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate you. What is happening, legends? Welcome to the most recent episode of Food Coma Eats. This channel is devoted to all things cheat meals, competitive eating, food challenges, and the general love of food. Today, I'm at the Burwood Hotel, and I'm about to take on a dry-aged T-bone steak burger. It's just got everything in it, and it looks absolutely and smells absolutely delicious. There's no time limit today to take this one down, but I'm going to try and get it down as fast as possible because I'm super excited to eat this damn burger. I'm so hungry. This burger is made by Adam Cremona. He has done burgers all around Sydney, but this has to be his masterpiece. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Delicious. Mad. All right, time for the Wolfie to have a go. Hey, bro. This is the Wolf of Eat Street. He's about to take on the challenge as well. His actual challenge attempt will be on the video as well. So make sure you keep watching for that. Oh, yeah. Check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. All right. Three, two, one. I'd say that that was quite a sizable bite. According to Scotty Gordon, this is a great burger. Here we go. 
He's going in full beast mode right now. The Wolf of Eat Street showing why he is called the Wolf of Eat Street. Up until today, how many competitive eaters have you seen take on challenges in front of you, Adam? Uh, this is actually my first. Oh my goodness. Dead set. We have uh, taken your virginity. You truly have popped my cherry. Disgusting sport, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely disgusting. I am very mildly aroused at the same time. <laughs> It's not the most glamorous sport, there we go. but if you like it, you like it. So how much food have you eaten in one sitting before, Adam? Um, actually, I've, I've done this one. You've done this I've one. Done that this is one. incredible. This, I did this one when I was back at uh, Miss Peaches. It wasn't the dry aged. Um, it was just our regular house ground meat. I originally did this at Miss Peaches just to uh, just playing around with it, making my own buns. Um, obviously grinding all my own meat, doing all that, and that's where it all came from. So. Honestly, uh, if you ever come to the Burwood Hotel, if you're ever seeing Adam in action, he does everything house made. He is um, absolutely vigilant, making sure that you always get the top product. Um, so if you're ever in the Burwood Hotel, look for the big guy, and give him a high five, say thank you for your hard work. Did you take down the fries with the burger as well? No, no, just the burger. Pairing up the uh, bun with the beef there, I think that's a great idea because you're getting a combination of moisture from the beef into the bun there, so it softens the bun. Uh, so what would you say is your favourite element in a burger? It's all about the pickles. Oh. If you don't have a good pickle, then it's all over. Here we go, the rice ball technique, uh, coined by Hog Smash Food Cow Stubbs. Uh, great way to put all the carbs together, uh, mash them up so there's less chewing involved. He's getting it ready. Yeah, hold, hold stop, it. Stop Here he is. Last mouthful. Come on, mate. 20 seconds to get that down. Very nice. 13.08, but I'm going to say 13 by the time you in your mouth. All right, so that was the challenge at Burwood Hotel in, well, Burwood. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you enjoyed the video that you subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I did too. Um, yeah, see you later. Peace.